Hey guys, this is AJ's vlogs and stuff, and today I'm going to be talking about what um, my time, my experience was like it back where I used to live in public middle school and where I am now, and being a homeschool kid. <laughs> um, so just to kick it off, middle school, I feel like for my experience, was filled with a lot of drama. I'm not sure if that was for everyone's experience, but that was just mine. Obviously, I still love middle school. That was a great experience. My friends were great. Um, teachers were really nice. The trips we went on were amazing. It's just that certain kids at that school fed on drama. And kids being upset and just starting all these things that didn't need to be started. Um, now, a lot of you maybe don't know what being homeschooled is like, or maybe some of you are homeschooled, but um, homeschool, homeschooling isn't all it's cracked up to be. Obviously, you stay at home. That's me. I stay at home. And um, I do schoolwork at my own pace. I get couple more chances at tests and um, obviously I can chat with the kids online for projects like if I need to do a group project or if I'm just saying hi like that that can happen but I am at home so I don't have as much contact with kids but that doesn't mean you can't. It's interesting. It's fun sometimes because then you get to stay home with your parents if they work from home or get to see them a lot more than normal. <laughs> and that's always good because then you don't have to deal with drama. And if you don't like the kids you're going to school with, you don't see them. They, re they You never see any other kid unless you meet up with them or you're doing an online chat room where you have to, you know, get seen, which is fine. Just don't wear pajamas. I haven't done that before. Um, back to the middle school thing. Public middle school, that is just crazy in and of itself. It is something that causes stress in a lot of kids' lives. It causes um, a lot of emotional things and just... I don't know, like I don't get, for this day and age I sound like I'm 80. But um, technology obviously is more accessible so when you go to school you mainly see kids on their phones or texting each other even when they're right next to each other, that's happened before, it's annoying. But it, it does happen and because of that there's things like cyberbullying and things where kids get hate online and likes matter so much that kids hurt themselves or things like they feel upset because they don't feel noticed or anything like that, which is awful. That should never ever happen to any child, adult, teenager, mutant thing. It doesn't matter. It, do it shouldn't happen. So for my experience, I didn't have a phone when I was in middle school and if I did, I wouldn't bring it into middle school unless I kept it in my book bag and it was only for emergencies and that is good just for me because then I would feel like I would need to be on my phone because other kids would be on their phone but my friends luckily they didn't have most of my friends didn't have phones in middle school or didn't use them while I was talking or anything like that so that the middle school I went to was usually great because my friends were solid most of them were solid they were so much fun to joke around with i had a, a couple best friends in middle school that i still text with and that's always great because you i moved and that's great to not lose a connection and that's why i also do like phones for that stuff because now i have my best friends to talk to online and that's always amazing but um Yeah, like what I said, middle school was stressful. <laughs> like, even even the tests or the homework that was being given on top of drama, that was even worse. Like, maybe being not caught up in an assignment and drama everywhere around you. That was 
Blah, that was not fun. It made me feel like that. And then lunch was another thing. PE was another thing. Like after school was a whole thing. Or in the beginning where there was like little cliques that would form. Even at lunch. And that's normal because kids in middle school are still trying to figure themselves out. Everyone is usually still after high school, and that's fine, but I don't know, if cliques wouldn't happen like that, kids would feel more included, and I was I was part of a clique where it was like, obviously me and my friends, it, it wasn't a clique, but it was just a group, like we would stay in our usual group at lunch, in the mornings, and um, that was fine, but at lunch there would be, let's say, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to just draw it. So this is the lunch area. You walk in, it's like this huge lunch class, lunch room. And then there was a separate area. And so the kids on this side were usually boys. Like boys on this half of the room and girls on this half of the room. There was maybe a couple tables where they would mingle and that was fine. And then there would be a designated table for the jocks and then for the like the popular girls and then for the nerds which didn't even make sense because that that just I don't know but then there would be like inclusive tables where everyone would be around and I was in a table where it wasn't really a sign thing there was popular girls athletic girls smart girls every type of female at that table which I loved because it was inclusive and it was fun um, there was a few girls that sat at the table that obviously I wish didn't because they were part of some drama and I can't control that and I wouldn't say anything because I didn't want to start anything on my own but um, I was part of drama because of the people I associated with and that is fine, it, can't, it comes with being in middle school. If you are a kid that didn't have to experience drama to the degree that I did or some other kids do you, you're, you're lucky because it's, it's, it's not fun. It's, it causes more stress than you should have in a life as a kid. But um, it was still fun. I have some funny stories I was going to tell. Like There was this one time, I think I told it in a Truth or Dare video with Ariel, like a previous video, a couple videos ago. But it was when... My best friend, one of my best friends and I were on these stationary bikes that you could read on and, you know, get exercise on, and um, they were all free. So my friend and I decided to go on the bikes, and I'm, I'm minding my business until I feel like, you know, a fart going on. <laughs> um, that was when I knew I was dead. Like, I, I knew it wouldn't, you know when you know it's not going to be a silent fart. That's what, and you're in a public place that you cannot fart in. That is probably one of the worst feelings I've ever felt. Like, you know crop dusting? I'm fine with that, because that's how you wreak revenge on your enemies. That's fine. But when you're in a crowded place, especially at middle school, where everyone's around you and it's a dead, silent library, everyone's reading or whispering, or on their phones, or eating lunch, whatever was going on, it was quiet. So my, uh, my butt decided to, you know, go against my wishes, and I farted <laughs> on the bike while I was pedaling. My face probably went from the color it is now, it might be a little red right now, but from pale to, like, a fire hydrant, and my best friend looks over at me, starts to laugh, and then everyone looks at me and they're like, was that you? Did you just do that? Was that you? And I, I couldn't say anything. So I was like, I, and my friend goes, <clears throat> excuse me. I owe her for life still. And it was a relief. I don't think anyone believed her because they, you know, who it's like, if it's that loud and it smells, you know it's from that person, which was me. But the librarian who was actually shelving books next to me, I still feel bad because she probably died a little. When that happened. And I don't know, she, I'm forever in her debt because that was, that was pretty rough.
Um, another story that doesn't involve farting this time. Okay, so you know the lunch rush when everyone's trying to get out because the way my um, homeschool, not my homeschool, well, my middle school would do it. They would have teachers, not enough by the way, because every kid was either late or too early. I mean, you were never too early because then you could socialize. But if you were late, that would suck. So again, <laughs> the lunch area is a separate area. The principal would go here. Um, one of my favorite teachers would like pro usually do our section. And then um, another teacher would do it, do it, do it, do it. And it would be like, this row, go, or this table, go. And if you were too loud or had garbage on your table and weren't cleaned, you had to stay later and clean up the cafeteria, which never happened to us, which was amazing. But we were, I think we were held back a couple of times because we were loud. Because the principal would be like, five, four, three, two, one. But, um, so we, it, it was not fun. And then everyone would be running out and the security guard would look like he was like about to die because of a stampede of children and it was it was awful because i i would also run out because that was smart but i would run out and there was this one time where i was trying to run and i tripped because i trip over everything and i tripped over my feet and my knee hit these metal stairs and that was so painful. I was like clutching my knee. And my friend, again, the one who saved me um, from the uh, fart on the bike, she, she was like, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm fine. But I started crying and I couldn't, like, I don't cry at school usually. And um, it sounded sad, but I, I don't cry <laughs> usually at school. So, um, I got up and I was limping and every stair like was awful because everyone saw which was the worst part no it was like wasn't like we were late wasn't like we were too early we were at that same point where everyone's just running out of the thing and um, I we went to class and we had a substitute for that class okay I just oops so we have a substitute, <laughs> we had a substitute in that class. And the teacher looks at me and she goes, are you okay? I'm like, mm-hmm, I'm fine. And I was, I'm still crying. So then I went to the bathroom because that's where all girls go to cry or be dramatic. My friends who are watching this, you know what happens. Um, so we would, oh, well, I went to cry. And then I came back and the, per the substitute was like, do you want to go to the nurse? I was like, yeah, sure. I got ice and I literally limped back to the classroom. And I think it took me maybe 20 minutes to get back there. So I was late. But it didn't matter. It was fine. I missed, I missed some of it, which I didn't really care about. Hmm. But it wasn't good. <laughs> but, yeah, so being in middle school has its advantages and disadvantages. I had some great trips. We went to Seabreeze. We went to... Um, ODE, which is a, like an outdoor, well, uh, we camp in houses, like it's with every uh, team, and um, our team was the best. So, yeah, I had a lot of good experiences, but also it comes with disadvantages, as I said before, and in middle school, I don't know, you just have to stay away from the people who are toxic, and that should go for really in every type of relationship friendship, any any type of social surrounding, you want to stay away from the toxic people and get a good group of friends. You really only need one good friend or a couple and you don't need everyone to like you. That's what I suffered with, how I felt like I needed everyone to like me or I needed to be like involved in everything, which really isn't the case. And just remember that you're trying to figure yourself out and everyone else is trying to do the same thing, no matter how calm they look on the surface or how happy they seem, still most of the time they're trying to figure themselves out. And that is a time where you need to look at the person that you want to be and make sure you're not going to be that toxic person that bullies people or makes people feel like they're inferior. And um, for middle school, for homeschool, that that really doesn't happen. The only thing that you might struggle with is 
not getting homework in on time or feeling like you're lonely and that's also in your control like I felt lonely for a while and I had a lot of talks with my parents and I'm, I signed up for soccer and you should do the same thing you either sign up for an art class if you like art sign, sign up for a singing program if you like singing or volunteer or do anything like that that maybe makes you feel better if you're help, if you like helping people go to a charity place or I don't know what it's called um, a chari charity area or volunteer work if you like helping animals go to an animal shelter and help the little cute animals but I just wanted to just say that and um, I don't know, today it was a chill video, and um, I like just talking. What? You know, saying my experiences and stuff. And uh, Happy New Year's 2019 now. I was crazy. It went by so fast. And But, like, when you're in the year, it goes so slow. And then you look at back on your younger self and all the things that you did and didn't do. And at the end, you just reflect on it and it was crazy it was a crazy year for me and um thank you guys so much for watching and being so supportive and staying like watching the videos and i'm so thankful and i love you guys and i hope you had an amazing new year and i hope you have an even better 2019 this year and um i'll see you guys for the next video bye